Hello and welcome to my presentation, my fair lady of virtual product development. My name is Valentina Novak and I'm studying Master in Textile Products, closing at Niederrhein University, focusing on 3D. The collection, my fair lady, for summer 2023 from the brand VN represent a young, elegant, extravagant, but not revealing fashion for young women in the 20s. To make them stand out by using light flowing fabrics such as silk saturns, lace-like fabrics and chiffon, rounded off with matching accessories and eye-catcher for special occasions. As a special feature of the collection, pleats, flounces, slits and cutouts in various forms are incorporated into each garment. The musical film, my fair lady, was the inspiration where many of the chosen elements were integrated in their own detailed way. At the beginning, the individual human body was scanned by using Tissue 3D's Kinetic 360 body scanner. To get the full range of animation and poses, the individual measurements were transferred to the given parametric avatar chain instead of importing the created live avatar from the platform. Double-checking the location of the parametric measurements results in an idealized avatar acceptable for this project, but of course lacking in details of individual posture and body parts. Concerning the virtual fabric properties visual, the Nuno fabric scanner was taken. Three main fabrics are chiffon and the mesh have been scanned and recolored for design aspects and imported directly into DC suit. The 3D preview from the scanning software was really helpful in a first evaluation of the scanning results. Physical fabrics properties have been tested by using the virtual lab dopometer and classifier software. Apart from using traditional testing rigs, time and cost intensive, the three-dimensional drape was recorded and transferred automatically by the software to the DC suit program of TG3D. Starting design with the color concept, RGB profiles are used for all of them inspired by fire and water. The three fabrics are colorized by using the developed color concept directly in DC after calibrating the screens. The transparency of the respective materials is directly visible and reflects the likeness of the VN My Fair Lady collection. After assigning the physical properties to the chosen fabrics, the style design and the silhouettes are finalized in 3D by taking the simulated basic designs and checking air gaps, strain and stress settings, goal directed respecting fit and design. These investigations are strongly related to the selected avatar physical parameters and simulation settings but can give anyway a first impression also for fit. To simplify the repeating design process, the basic design of the products are presented first as a so-called Blanco-style design. These products can be used next time in the product development process again and serve as base for new products as a starting point by filling a Blanco library. Five top products, three skirts, two trousers and four Blanco dresses are taken as a base for the new collection. Now let's start the mix and match of Blancos to create multiple combinations by using all single basic products, tops, skirts and trousers. Before putting the textile structure on, mix and match of Blanco styles enables to check the all over silhouettes and proportions of the product to combine preferred without deflecting avatar. By mix and match the single products, the Blanco new collection can be created and single products adapt or exchange if needed in this process step. Finally, the textile structures and the color variations are assigned virtually with maps to sharpen the final collection and for the final decision before presenting the virtual collection in the first buyer meeting for the next process steps. Up to now, the complete collection is still developed virtually and presented before spending time and costs for sample making and rework in developing loops. Anyway, most critical, the acceptance of only virtual presented products, especially in a fashion world with high importance of fabric touch reflecting always an individual feeling. When it comes to manufacturing, the tech pack is needed. A lot of information can be directly transferred from the 3D simulation and its tools. Anyway, depending from the attention to detail in simulation, often there is still a gap and misunderstandings and a mix between 3D and 2D is still necessary to describe the product in detail. The missing of pattern knowledge and transfer increase the known gap between companies, agencies, manufacturer and suppliers known from 2D also in 3D. To wrap up, 3D is already a common tool and has made its way in product development. A lot of tools, software and equipment are available, but the main point is still the in-house process of most companies not perfectly aligned with 3D. And even more critical when trying to outsource 3D before achieving in-house expertise. The process usually starts with design and often ends up with e-commerce nowadays. Anyway, the steps in between and especially the fact of finally producing a garment should be not forgotten about. 
I am happy that 3D could already become such an important part in my master studies, knowing that especially the technical development part in 3D will be the real challenge to cope with.